Hey guys, it's Lydia and today I have another tip for you for another thing that I learned on the road. One of the things that happened to us is that I brought a lot of my swimming equipment with me and I usually use these big giant Camping World bags for my swimming equipment and you'll look and see Christian used his fins and they've still got sand on it and I mean I didn't use this but I brought my wetsuit with me and it's still got sand on it and there's um you know like you got things like this water shoes the problem that we incurred when we were at Sunset Beach was that there were no showers there and there was no way for us to rinse off our equipment it occurred to me that day that it would have been great if I carried around one of these water sprayers in my outdoor kitchen to wash off sand off our feet or wash off all of their equipment in case that we needed it. So having one of these would have been great. Now this one is the one that Mike was using before he purchased his new battery operated one for shower. So it's painted on one side so that um, you can solar heat it. If I was boondocking and I needed a quick shower, I would put this out, heat it up, and then use this to take a shower in there and not actually have to use any of the water in my tank. But I think it's great bringing it along because I'll show you that what you can do is rinse off your equipment with it. Let me show you how you do it. Okay, this one is the, this is the one that pumps. So first we're going to pump it and get air inside of it different settings for these. You can have it in a mist or full stream. Okay, so here we go. I have it in a, in a full stream right now, so I'm rinsing off butter and sand off of this. I mean, I wish wash this better when I got home or if I was at a, a park or something, I could bring it in the shower with me and wash them off. But you do want to get the initial salt water off because this will lead away at your rubber. You don't want none of that on there. And you'll see that it'll, the pressure will get lower. So what you're going to need to do is pump it in. And it'll start to get really tough. And that's when you know that you've reached it. So here I have my, my water shoes. And I'm going to rinse these off as well. You see that all the sand's coming off. See? The wet suit. If I'm parked at a beach for the day, and I don't have another way to rinse these off. Having this is great. This is also great if I had sand on my feet or my pads got dirty or muddy or some of us got muddy or something. We could also have these um, outside. And here's my fins. The fins. These are great for the masks. Because a little mask, you want to get in there and get this stuff off. You know, might not get all the sand off. But this is just enough to get a lot of the salt water off. 